Hi, I'm Alicia Gordon, one of the Campus Instructional Technology Facilitators. And I'm Chris Sumner, I'm the other one. Today we're going to talk to you about how to use modules to create assignments and bell ringers as we transition towards Graves ID over the next few days. So as you can see, I have uh, my sandbox here, uh, one of my classrooms. Can I get Madison Cardell to the office, please, and Yuvia Sanchez? Madison Cardell and Yuvia Sanchez, thank you. I have one of my uh, sandbox classrooms right here, and we're going to use this as an example. We're first going to show you how to create modules, and I like to organize mine by week. Then we're going to show you how to use Google Forms as a bell ringer for attendance. And then the last thing that we're going to show you how to do is to actually create an assignment for a student to, to submit online. So that first thing that I talked about was modules. So we're going to go over here and click on modules. And like I said, I like to organize mine by week. So the week that we're in right here is week three. All you have to do is click module, type in the name, and then add module, and it'll pop up right here. Um, this is I like weeks because I think it helps the kids see exactly what they need to get done, and you can kind of organize things in a stepwise fashion with modules. Uh, this right here, if you have something that you want your kids to see or complete, and it's a file that is on your computer, not on Drive, but like a file that's actually on your computer, this is where you would click and then you can find whatever you need to and put it on here. Or let's, let's talk about how we're going to do bell ringers. So we're going to use Google, Google Forms for that. So we're going to click this plus button and um, we're going to make it an assignment. So do that and then we're going to click new assignment and I'm going to name it bell ringer for 914 because that's the first day that we're going to have to use this and I'm going to click add item. So it pops up right here. We're going to click this so that we can edit it and put everything in it that we need. So click edit and it'll bring you to this. This probably looks very familiar. Um, some of you have probably already done assignments, um, but I like to use Google Forms for attendance. I don't have to like keep track of anything. It shows all the kids that actually do the assignment. Just make something easy, one question, doesn't take the kids very long to do. Um, but once you have your Google Form done, we're going to embed it into Canvas so that the kids uh, will see it in their in their module. So how do you do that? We're gonna go over here to send, click that, and then we're gonna go over here to this embed uh, icon right here. This is gonna be the, uh, the text that you're gonna need to post into Canvas. So click this and click copy, and it's in your clipboard, so we'll go back to Canvas. If you post it right here, this is just like a Word document. It's going to come up like normal. The kids are going to see the gibberish. This is exactly what they'll see, and they're not going to be able to do anything. Where you need to put it so it actually shows up as your Google Form is this right here, the HTML editor. So we'll click on this, click Paste, and then it will actually show up as your um, Google Form that you want. As you can see, I switched back and it shows up with the bell ringer that you would want to use. My dates don't match, but oh well. And so we're gonna move along. Um, if you wanna take like a grade for this, you would have to change these points, but I don't really need a grade for my bell ringers, so I'm gonna leave it at zero. Like I said, if you wanna actually take a grade for it, you would change this to 100. And then assignment group. I have a few assignment groups that I like to use, but since this one is not going to be part of their grade, I'm going to put it in my assignment group called Attendance Bell Ringers, and that won't mess with their final grade. Then we'll come down here. We're going to keep this no submission, uh, so they don't have to click submit or anything because they're actually just going to cl click submit on your Google form. You don't want to have to have them click submit in two spots. 
And then we want this due on the day that this bell ringer is, so 9.14. I'm going to change this from 9.14, and the due date will be 9.14. All right, and so everything is set up. We're going to click Save. And now this is what your kids will see, and uh, it's ready to go. So that's how you're going to do a bell ringer. Let's go back and I'll show you how to make sure that they're actually going to see it. Once you create your modules and your bell ringers or your assignments, you're going to have to make sure that they are published so that your kids can see. So I have my bell ringer here. It's in this module. All I have to do is come over to this button, click it, and it will publish both things. So when we go back home and we flip to student view, this is what your students will see. We've been uh, directing our kids to go straight to modules so they can see what they're supposed to do. And our kids will know that on the day of 914, they need to do this bell ringer. They click on that and the Google form will show up. Because uh, it's a student view on a teacher thing, that's why it's not showing up. But um, when your students look on here, you're the Google form will pop up here. And also, if you lock it like I have, um, it won't show up until the actual day. Just go ahead and leave student view, and we'll go back to modules. The next thing that we're going to do is show you how to add an assignment, and I'm gonna let Alicia take over. Okay, so assignments are very similar to the steps that you did just take with uh, Sumner. So we'll go here and we will go to a new assignment and I'll call this test assignment. And then we're going to go ahead and add it. So right now, again, there's nothing in here. You click the assignment and you have to go edit it. So the way that uh, Chris was able to show you was if you were was if you embedded a tool for them to use for this one, we would like for them to use Canvas as the only the one stop shop that they will go to. So if you were creating an assignment here in this text box, you'll have your directions. So you would type your directions here. Uh oh. And those are the directions that the students will see. I'll go ahead and give this a point value because I'll pick a grade for it in the, the grade book. And then here, instead of it being no submission type, we'll have an online submission type. So there are uh, several online submission types that you will use if you would like for them to use. Can I get Jose Rodriguez with the things to the office, please? Jose Rodriguez. If you would like for them to upload anything from their Google Drive or anything like that, you they can do that from this tool. So that is an automatic thing that they'll be able to do as long as their Google Drive is linked, which they should have done by now by authorizing it. So here I've had them do a text entry where they can fill in a box that looks very similar to this box located up here, or they can upload something. They can upload something. So you can also decide if you want them to only be able to submit this once or twice, you can limit that and decide how many times you want them to submit it, or you can keep it unlimited. That's up to you. Since we are moving through the A day and B day, you can change this if you want it. If you have your other courses here, you can assign it to certain courses on some days and certain courses on the other days. But I like to keep it simple and just assign it to everyone. And then we'll give it the same due date that 914. And make it available on let's make it available today so we can see what it looks like until 914. And then I'm going to just save it. So when I save it, that did not publish it. It just allows me to view it. It allows me to view it. So this is what the students will see. When they when they log in, they'll see it like this. So I know you're wondering, well, how can they? Can I get Stephanie Vasquez with their things to the office, please, Stephanie Vasquez. How can they upload it? We're going to show you that when we go back to show you what the student view looks like. So 
I'm going to go ahead and publish it so that it can be seen on the student view. If it's not published, the students cannot see it. So I'll go back to modules and I'll go to my test assignment. Oh, I have to go to student view. I'm in the student view. I go to modules, which you will direct them to do, and I'll go to the test assignment. Now, they'll still just see this until they press submit assignment, okay? When they press submit assignment, it'll show them these multiple options. So they can do the text entry box, which we offered, which I said looks exactly like the box that you saw, or they can find something in their Google Drive that they like to upload. So they can use either of these two tools. And if they already have a file on their computer, they can also upload that here. So these are the different ways that, that they will be able to use it in your classroom. And then they would press submit assignment. When it's complete, they press submit assignment and it will immediately go to you for you to grade. So as you can see right here in this corner, they already have a to-do list because this is something that's been made available to them. So if they can't see this module button, they can check their to-do list, which is always going to be located on the right side of their computer. All right, guys. So uh, just a reminder, what we showed you today, we showed you how to make a bell ringer uh, in our modules. And we showed you how to do an assignment for that. If you have any questions about what to do for this, just please let us know. Um, you can email us um, or uh, text us on the, the Google Meet app that's in your email. And we will uh, help you as much as we can. And good luck to you. Bye.